Is it true that all important people, the elite, great philosophers, masters of ideation, writers, historical figures, they are all just egregorial puppets? 99% of the time, yes, Boris. Actual geniuses are truly rare and you can easily tell who they are. You can't miss it. First, they are unforgettable. Second, they will make it on their own. Third, the remarkable mind of a genius is usually unable to manifest itself right away. If he doesn't establish a direct interaction with an egregor, the latter will start squashing him. They say to him, be a genius, but on our terms. And a genius mind often has no interest in that whatsoever. This is why geniuses, as a rule, I emphasize, as a rule, is not an algorithm, but a sort of an effect of the system of interaction between a genius and a system. So as a rule, they become famous only after their death. And while they are alive, they are sick as dogs, suffering from all illnesses known and unknown to mankind. Let's take Bulgakov, for example. As his biography is known, it is traceable. He was favored by the authorities, he was killed by the authority, he was tremendously ill, and his most important and most famous creation became such only after his death, because it was precisely that creation that was most dangerous for the system that existed at the time. And if you put side by side the chronology of the publication of Master and Margarita and the development of the Soviet system, you will see that the highest rise of the work was precisely during the peak of that system's decline, if it can be called this way, the peak of decline, meaning it coincided with the lowest point of the Gregorian ideology. So what they were afraid of, that is what they anyway got. And this is a very common story with geniuses. A genius who manifests himself somehow during his lifetime has come to a compromise with the Gregorian system and it has started to support him a little bit. Maybe not across the board, but just in some ways enough to allow him to manifest himself during his lifetime. And then it is up to the system whether to make him a master of ideation or a pariah. Systems change. Systems change. Same with Saharov, for example, or Solzhenitsyn. One system was killing him without a reasonable cause, the other one raised him up to heavens. And if you look at him without any bias, the torture was undeserved and the admiration was completely undeserved. But that is how the system uses them. In any case, when a master of ideation appears, he is 99% of the time an egregorial puppet. Look at his biography, look at who stood behind him, when and on what grounds did they admire him and what did they kill him for. This is always the work of a system.